In this lesson, we will take a look at four examples of determining time complexity of code using big O notation. Before we get started though, I do want to share this table that gives the time complexity on the left and a description on the right. You may find this helpful for reference. And now let's look at our first example. Analyzing the code, the algorithm indexes into an array and returns that value. Since array indexing takes constant time, as does returning a single value, this algorithm takes just constant time, no matter how large n is. The time complexity is big O of one. Analyzing the code of the second example, we need to be careful. The algorithm might seem to take big O of n time since it contains a loop, but don't jump to conclusions too quickly. Notice that the loop executes 42 times regardless of how large n might be. Here we have i equals zero and then i less than 42. All of the other operations, both in and outside the loop, takes constant time. Thus the overall complexity is something like c sub one plus 42 times c sub two, where c sub one is the time it takes to do the operations outside the loop, and c sub two is the time it takes to execute the code in the loop each time it executes, including the comparison and increment in the for loop itself. Since c sub one and c sub two are constants, so is c sub one plus 42 times c sub two, Thus the time complexity is big O of one, not big O of n. Analyzing the code for our third example, the algorithm takes linear time since it contains a single for loop that executes n times and does a constant amount of work each time. Thus the time complexity is big O of n. And for the last example, the algorithm has double nested loops that each execute n times and the amount of work done in the inner loop is constant, the time complexity is big O of n squared. I hope you found this helpful.